Today we are going to talk to a very famous and controversial living legend, the great boxer Muhammad Ali. What was your original name and when and where were you born? My name when I was born was Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr. After I became a Muslim, my name became Muhammad Ali, and I am now 73 years old. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky on January 17, 1942. So, tell us about your family. Maybe about your parents, siblings, or anyone else in your family? I had four wives and nine children. My parents were Cassius Marcellus Clay Sr. and Odessa Grandy Clay. Out of all my children, only my daughter Lila is a boxer like I was. Mohammed, tell us about your childhood. Be sure to tell me about your friends, schooling, and maybe your interests when you were growing up. I began to box when I was 12. My bicycle was stolen and I reported the theft to a policeman named Joe Martin, who gave me boxing lessons in a nearby youth center. He invited me to try boxing and he soon saw that I had talent. Please tell us about a memory you have about your life. One thing that I can remember is that I was described as being able to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. That was my boxing style, my speed and punch power. I was a professional boxer who could boast, rhyme, and was full of confidence about my victories. How did you spend the later years of your life? At the 1996 Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia, I lit the Olympic torch. My last fight was in 1981 because I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease after 61 fights. I retired to, be, to become involved with social causes and politics. What do you think people will remember most about you? I think that people are going to remember when I became Muslim and changed my name to Muhammad Ali, and that was controversial. People are also going to remember that I was the only boxer to win the heavyweight championship three times. I also didn't want people stepping on me, so my star on the Walk of Fame is the only one on a wall and not on the ground. Those are the things that I think people will remember about me. Wrap up this interview. Do you have anything else that you would like to share? In 1999, I became the first boxer to ever appear on a Wheaties box. I was, a, I was a bad student, and now I realized that I had dyslexia. Some of my most famous bouts were the Rumble in the Jungle and the Thrill in Manila. The last thing I would like to share with you is that in 1975, Sports Illustrated named me Sportsman of the Year. Thank you for your time and patience, Mr. Ali. I look forward to talking to you again soon. I'm the greatest!